Hey guys, just want to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up the toolbox from scratch. So basically when you open up the toolbox you're going to get uh, all your brushes that are local right here. Um, your, if you have any XMD brushes, of course they'll be at the bottom. Uh, you have a drop down here that's going to show all of the XMD brushes that you have local. Um, you've also got a custom category list here. Uh, let's see, you've got your filters for each brush type. Um, we've already set up a bunch of pre-filters. Um, if you want to set up your own, uh, let's see, you can have a description here. Um, let's see, this is... So you can choose custom category, you can create one, um, once you create one it will show up in this drop down list. Uh, you can add tags, um, then filter by tag. Uh, you can choose a type if you add your own, all the ones from XMD and Pixelogic are already pre-set up. Uh, you've also got your credit down here if there's one listed on the brush. Um, you have to add that in uh, ZBrush because they don't expose that to the plugin side. Um, if you want to check out your alphas, um, you can customize and organize your alphas the same way you can with brushes. Uh, you can also, uh, it'll automatically figure out all your dimensions for your alphas and everything. It's got quick buttons for flip and uh, invert, rotate, uh, you can turn, turn on the brush alpha, and then if you load, oh, that's a really cool thing, if you load your own custom UIs, they will show up in this drop down list as long as you add them uh, in the appropriate uh, location on your local. Um, in the settings, you have the ability to turn on single click select, uh, which if you have a tablet, you know, double clicking with a pen is not always easiest. So you can double click select um, or single click select a brush in order for it to load into ZBrush. You have uh, advanced tooltips, you can turn them on and off. Um, if you want to hide the XMD category, you can do that here. Uh, I've also got a ton of preset themes that you can load. Um, this one right here and the blue one both match the ZBrush window. Um, so you've also got these favorites. Let me show you these. So if you want to create, say you're working on a project, um, let's say we're working on an environment of uh, hallway. Um, Choose a color. You can also go to advanced, choose a specific color. Um, and then once you choose your color, uh, it'll add it here. Click on it. Um, you should get a blank window. And then anything you want to add, just click the star. That'll add it to your favorites. And you can cycle through all your favorites here. Um, if you want to edit your favorite set, you can do that here. You've also got this new feature that we just added, which is the XMD store. Once you oops, let me turn off that. Once you open up the store, make sure you're logged in. If you have an account already through XMD, uh, you can set up a ticket and I'll add you to the new store. If you just want to use the free sets, you can also register for a free account. Um, so once you are logged in, you can go to your library here and download anything you want. Um, once they're downloaded, they're automatically extracted. As you can see in the drop down here, all the ones that we download automatically add to this list. So you can quickly get to them and See, you've got your store download path in here. You can rename your layouts. 
Uh, you can set locations, custom locations for your brushes. Uh, you can delete tags, edit tags, delete categories, edit categories. Same thing with your alphas. And once you are done with that, let's see, you can, we have a compact setting that you can minimize everything down. And you've also got a mini mode. If you click that, it just gives you one line of brushes. Um, so once you are ready, all you got to do is go into each of these. Let's subdivide this a few times. So all you got to do is just start sculpting with your. And once you are, and that's pretty much it. Um, once you have it set up, it'll always be set up and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.